Imagine you have deployed Dockers on three different servers. Dockers works great for something this small but if you application is big and say it's bringing in a lot of traffic to you website really fast, how will you go from three servers to say 50 servers? And most important how will you decide which container goes where? This is where Kubernetes comes in. Kubernetes is a portable, extensible, platform for managing containerized workloads and services. At its core Kubernetes gives a means to do deployment, an easy way to scale and gives you monitoring. So how is this exactly done with Kubernetes? Let's take a look. In Kubernetes, you have a master node. And this is part of a cluster. So it knows of other servers that you create that you can then deploy containers to. The deployment process is also quite simple. You talk to Kubernetes and tell it what kind of image it would like to create container from and give it a few criteria too. And it creates a deployment. Which is your application? And your deployment can specify a different criteria, such as you need certain of CPU, RAM, file storage. All this is held inside of your deployment and Kubernetes keeps a track of that. It has a deployment tracker which means if your application goes down, Kubernetes knows about it and it tries to auto-heal by spinning up another container up and recover for itself. So the way scaling works in Kubernetes is, it will figure out where it will put it for you. But how do you connect to a specific container? That's where services comes in. Example Engine X is our services and we have multiple nodes running and we need to connect to those in an intelligent way, so services lets us manage all those and also puts a load balancer in front and give us public accessibility to this service. We can have multiple services, service A might need two containers but our database service might need one container. They can be on the same machine or Kubernetes might decide to put them in different machines. It depends on what your scheduler thinks is the best way to utilize your resources. So let's revisit some key Kubernetes features. Storage orchestration. Configuration management. Automatic rollbacks and rollouts. Horizontal scaling. Self-healing. Automatic bin packing. Service discover and load balancing. Batch execution. When you partner with NetWeb, you benefit from proven best practices for all aspects of Kubernetes-based operations. Talk to our experts today.